Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to start our second chapter and we will discuss the role of one of the very prominent personality in the history of the subcontinent that is Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan. So, we are going to discuss Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan and the Aligarh moment. Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan, uh, a, a personality whenever we talk about the modern education or we talk about the history of education of the subcontinent it is incomplete without uh, Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan so let's see uh, how uh, how his how his services changed the fate of the Muslims of the subcontinent so uh, I hope you you must remember everything that how East India Company came to subcontinent and the British came here as traders and then later on they controlled the whole subcontinent and we discuss war of independence 1857 as I told you that the Muslims and the Hindus they tried to uh, stop the invasion of the British people here but it was not possible and they lost the war of independence in 1857 okay now the dismal situation of the muslims in the post 1857 era or the post war of independence era so what was the war of independence as i told you that they wanted to get back their independence uh, the muslims were ruling at that time in the subcontinent the muslims and hindus both of these nations tried to stop the british invasion but unfortunately uh, it didn't go well they lost the war so this was called the war of independence by the muslims and mutiny or ghadar by the british now what was the situation of the muslims after this war of independence when british government uh, control was controlling the whole subcontinent now we are going to discuss it step by step okay muslims responsible for the war of independence what happened that as i told you at that times muslims were uh, when the british came here uh, the muslims were ruling the subcontinent uh, the last mughal dynasty uh, the, the the last emperor of the mughal dynasty bahadur shah zafar uh, he was dethroned in 1857 so uh, the muslims and the hindus both participated in the war but the britisher had the, this feeling that the muslims are responsible for this war of independence or we can see the mutiny as they described as mutiny they they tortured the muslims very badly uh, in fact uh, they were thinking that the muslims want to get back their throne and uh, most of the leaders were executed and they were exiled because they were afraid of those rulers they they will get back to the war or they will try their level best to get their independence the muslim nawabs they were also tortured their property was uh, confiscated now about 24 princes were hanged in november 1857 in delhi so you can see that the Muslims especially they face great miseries because of this whole situation because they, they, they held Muslims responsible for the, for the war of independence. Now Hindu Muslim unity was also shattered because of this war of independence. Before this war of independence the Muslims and the Hindus as I told you they were living together and they tried their level best. Uh, together to get rid of this British uh, British people but the, uh, a misunderstanding was created because of this whole situation why because the British people they uh, they were treating the Hindus with leniency and the Muslims were tortured so the feelings of the hatred are uh, created okay because the Muslims started hating Hindus 
because they were thinking that the hindus are uh, uh, the hindus are getting benefits and the muslims are only tortured now so uh, in fact the hindus muslims and sikhs these three nations they they, they the, the the feelings of the hatred developed among these three nations okay and these british people had a policy we discussed it uh, in our previous lectures that was divide and rule i must mention it here divide and rule to create such kind of situation so the people don't trust each other they they created such kind of atmosphere when where these three nations started hating each other so it was very easy for them to target those people to the british now so this was uh, uh, and then repressive british rulers as i told you that their their behavior was very cruel these british uh, rulers they were very repressive the after the war of the independence uh they began to rule with cruelty uh when they started controlling the whole subcontinent uh they they treated the indian as slaves uh they the british soldiers they started uh hating or they starting they treated these the, the the fellow soldiers with hatred and cruelty there was no confidence uh among them uh in fact they were harassing the local people and they were trying their level best to uh to 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 create such kind of environment for the people atmosphere for the people where they live with fear and then uh they in fact the british government tightened their grip um on india okay as i told you and they also created or they also uh wanted to have the feelings of hatred and mistrust among these three nations okay and then uh the british uh the british and their own or army they uh they started organizing their own army they trusted their own army in fact uh as i told you that though the local people were recruited in the army but they were not uh treated equally they discouraged the local people heavy weapons were also given to the british troops and they the most important posts were given to the british okay and uh, the next is moment for revival of the knowledge some of the people some of the proper and ulama and people they started revival of knowledge moment uh, in fact they were trying their level best to be on uh, to be on that side so where people can understand that they were a great nation and they can bring back that glory but the british the spiritual life of the muslims were shattered uh in delhi this moment was severely smashed by the british so it also created more uh more difficulties for the muslims and then the economic condition of the muslim the worst economic condition of the muslims why because they were they they thought that they are responsible for this war of independence so their business was damaged their property were lost and uh, all the opportunities uh, uh uh they lost everything the hindus and the sikhs and the christians they were given the opportunities to come back to the life and uh do contribute in the economic position but the muslims especially the british treated him like that that they should lost their economic growth <clears throat> now in this whole scenario the hindu the role of the hindus and sikhs is very important what they did in fact they took advantage of the whole situation or the bleak situation of the muslims how because they were already uh, uh, treated with leniency so they organized themselves the muslims cannot remained united and their leadership was scattered so 
we can say that this post 1857 era was a total difficult time for the muslims and it bring uh, so much miseries for them and now in our in our next topics i am going to tell you that was what was the role of the sir sayyid ahmed khan at in in in, in that uh, dismal situation of the muslims is and now our next topic is sir sayyid ahmed khan and the modern era sir sayyid ahmed khan was born on 17th of october 1817 uh, to a very well off family of the delhi his parents uh, uh, they were very sober and religious his father mir mutaki was a very learned person uh, his mother uh, was a very religious woman and it is said that his personality is and in, was inspired by his mother uh, his grandfather khwaja fariduddin uh, he was the employee of the east india company uh so we can say that his family was educated well off and they had their services for the british crown so sir sayyid ahmed khan was appointed as sub judge in 1841 during that time he wrote so many books one of the book is uh, jalil al qulub wa zikr al mahboob uh in this book uh he described the birth death and miracles of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and then he also wrote down the, his famous book asar sanadid in which he described the historical places so uh you can see that one of the uh one of the Uh, uh the the role of the sir sayyid ahmed khan that he also um he also showed his one of the aspect of this personality as an archaeologist so uh sir sayyid ahmed khan uh he was well much aware about the causes of uh, the muslims misery and what can be solution to those miseries in fact uh he wanted the muslims uh should follow the modern time or they should change themselves in fact the muslims were very reluctant reluctant to accept the change and sir sayyid ahmed khan wanted them to accept the change and bring uh and bring a change in their own personality as as a nation as a nation they should be changed so in fact uh he said that the main decline of the muslims it is because they are hating the uh western education they are reluctant to uh to receive this modern education because uh they had a fear of losing their identity because of this modern education now sir sayyid ahmed khan was very much aware about the whole situation and he wanted them to stop the feelings of the hatred towards the british uh, rulers because they have to accept this thing that now they are our rulers and we have to follow them and of course they should get modern education they should get scientific education and they should learn english literature so they can so they can learn what is the situation and how can they uh, and how can they change their life with the with the with that situation now how he tried wholeheartedly to change our nation to the Mo- the muslim specially uh, to get modern education we will discuss it uh, later uh yes first sir sayyid ahmed khan efforts for british muslim friendly relation as i told you that he was much more aware about the causes of the muslims miseries or the decline of the uh, of the muslims so the very first thing was that there was atmosphere of the hatred and cruelty why the british people they they had no trust on muslims they were thinking at that time that muslims are responsible for the war of independence so uh sir sayyid ahmed khan uh made a great effort 
by writing down his journal asbab e bagawat e hind in that journal he declared he he mentioned that what were the causes of that uh, war of independence and why the indian people are not liking the british britishers in fact in a very bold way he stated this thing in fact this uh, that this this uh, whole situation of mistrust is the result of uh, the british authorities uh, aggressive attitude toward the muslims so and also uh, he said that the hatred among the native troops against the british was uh, roused by the religious prejudice of the hindus in fact he wanted to say that not that muslims are not only responsible for the war of independence in fact hindus were also equally responsible for war of independence but mostly muslims were targeted for the that situation uh in fact the muslim uh, fought very enthusiastically uh if we compare it with them with them with the hindus uh so that was the result uh that the british uh, that the british crown was thinking that muslims are only responsible for this war of independence and then later on their policy was totally against the muslims okay and then sir sayed ahmed khan uh uh actually he said that indians are kept away from legislation they are not getting uh they are not getting this thing that uh, the indians cannot uh, they are not getting the orders issues by the british government so they should be the part of the legislation ya kanoon saazi mein unka role hona chahiye so they can understand that what the british crown want from them okay and then uh, uh actually uh, the muslims would call the british as nasara as they were christian he wrote in his book nasara and proved that this word is not used out of hatred but in fact the the nasara means christians then sir sayed ahmed khan wrote another book the uh, magazine ahkam e tama tame ahle kitab in fact in this book he wanted to show the similarity between the christians and the muslims he said the muslims can dine with the christians because they are ahle kitab okay bible is their religious book so injil bible and so they are also ahle kitab and then in fact uh, sir sayed ahmed khan wanted to remove the misunderstandings between the british and the muslims uh he wrote an interpretation of the bible too and he wanted to uh he wanted to bring the britishers and the muslims come together they wa he wanted to remove the feelings of the mistrust and uh, and hatred uh, among them in his book in fact uh, in in in, in sir sayed ahmed khan opposed ulama in different places uh so some of the muslims they were unhappy with unhappy with sir sayed ahmed khan uh, because uh, they were not accepting this thing the ulama at that time Okay, he he wrote different articles under the name, the title of the Loyal Muhammadans of India. In this book, he showed the sincere efforts of the Muslims of the India who worked for the British Crown or the British government. And then, as I told you, that his primary aim was to bring the, the those two nations together, or they should start trusting each other, uh, and. one thing and uh, one thing is uh, more important that he wanted this thing that the others nations should not take uh, advantage of that situation that the britishers are not trusting the muslims so the other nation at that time they were taking advantage of this thing as i told you the hindus and the sikhs now and the muslims were also uh, the muslims started hating their own culture their own language 
some of the Muslims. <coughs> so uh, the situation was very alarming. So Sayyid Ahmad Khan, he worked for the educational development of the subcontinent and he urged the Muslims to get the modern education and get uh, and uh, and to be on a safe side and do not take part in the politics for for some time and they should focus on education only according to Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan I must tell you one thing um, Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan was very much sure that there can only be two steps if the Muslims want to come back to their glorified time. One, to get modern education and the second, to avoid politics. Because it was very much important at that time to focus on education, to understand the modern world, to understand the modern education, scientific and scientific knowledge and English literature, so they will be able to understand what is going on um, uh, around them. So, and the most important thing was that they, at that time they were not ready for any political, uh, political efforts. So he wanted them to have their focus on, the, uh, on education and to avoid politics for some time.